know, it's easy to be prideful sometimes, right? Like if you make a lot of money and you buy a lot of things, you think, wow, I did a good job. This is all the work of me. Or maybe God has given you a gift or a talent and you use it for his, your, for his glory, but then eventually you see results happen and you say, wow, that's, I did some pretty good work. And pride comes in. And the more pride comes over us, the more our hearts are closed, the more our minds are closed, and God can't get through to us. So instead of being a caretaker for the kingdom, we're being a stealer of the kingdom. We're taking what God has given us and using it for our own glory. So I ask you today, are you prideful? Pride overtaking your eyes. Do you have so much pride in your eyes that you fail to see what God is doing? And uh, we're kind of checking out where the waterfall usually is during the waterfall season. And, you know, it's really important that we understand what it means to be a caretaker of the environment. That we understand what it means to be a good steward of the environment. We will be held accountable for our caretaking. In all the parables of the Bible on stewardship, caretaking, in all the parables, there's always a moment of accountability at the end. You, me, all of us, we are going to be accountable. When you get to heaven and you're gonna meet God face to face, he's gonna ask you what you did with what he gave you. And I hope your answer Think about your talents. Sufficient. Think about your gifts. Think about what you do well. Who gets your credit? Where is it from? Are your skills and your gifts and your talents, are they from you? And when you perform, do you get the credit? Or are your gifts and your talent and your ability. If God is the giver, and He gives us time, then His time, then our time is not really our time. That time is actually God's time. I'm going to read a verse for you. This is, the, this is what the psalmist writes. Show me, O Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting is my life. You have made my days a mere hand, Britta. The span of my years is as nothing before you. Each man's life is but a breath. Uh, my church took a trip to Hong Kong and China. Uh, when we were there, we got to go into the local schools. Uh, we had an opportunity to preach the gospel while we were there. We even got to uh, smuggle Bibles <laughs> into China. And we were with the Chinese, um, Chinese. You know, money is definitely a hard topic to talk about. It's funny, people will op often open up to anything in their lives. People will be open about anything in their lives except money. And you can ask somebody almost anything, but it is socially unacceptable to ask about money. 